Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm one of the volunteers at Texas Memorial Museum in Austin, Texas, where I help people better understand the fossils that they're looking at there. A lot of times people come up and want to know where and how they can start looking for fossils themselves. So today we're going to start by seeing where you can find fossils in Austin, Texas. We're going to need some things before we get started. You need a hat and some sunscreen, a field guide to identify the fossils we find, and tools to extract and clean the fossils. Finding fossils is largely a matter of luck, but the more prepared you are, the better you are likely to succeed. So you'll need a map. Here we have a geological map of the state of Texas. So when you find Austin, you'll notice it's in this green band here. That green band coincides with the time period that's between 65 million and 100 million years ago. During that time, Texas was at the bottom of the sea. So the fossils we're going to find in Austin are likely to be marine invertebrates. We know where we are, and now we know what time frame we're looking at. So let's go look. Sometimes you can find traces of fossils in stonework around houses and buildings. But other than that, you're not likely to find many fossils around here. Or here! Now we found a prime spot for fossils. We're right by Shoal Creek. So I'm going to make my way down, and I'm going to be careful to avoid snakes, any broken glass, and poison ivy. Oh, here's one. This one's got two in it. Here's another one. And here's another one. See the curl here? They're all around here. Here's two of them together. Another. Now compare that with this. This is a snail, not a fossil. So you can see this one looks like a shell and it's fairly small and brittle and light. This one is heavier and looks more like a rock that's shaped like a shell because that's what it is. We're standing on what was once an oyster bed. Sometimes the fossils are very obvious, like this one. And sometimes they're a little harder to see, and you have to dig them up, like this one. All right, we found our fossil, and I found a photo that looks like it in our field guide. It's an Exogyra labiuscula. It's from the Upper Cretaceous in the Austin group. So this fits everything that we predicted from our map. The reason we've ended up with the creek is because the creek bed is not going to be fully developed. So the rocks that you see are from the time of the dinosaurs, and what is now Austin would have been at the bottom of the sea. So the fossils that you find are from the animals who lived here then. And now I'm going to put these fossils back so somebody else can find them. And you're on your way to becoming a paleontologist. You can find fossils like these and much more at Texas Memorial Museum. Happy fossil hunting!